Okay, hello everyone. So I'm Ron Hui Gu. I'm a computer science assistant professor at Columbia University. I'm also the co-founder of CERDIC. So today I'm going to talk about our approach uh, uh, towards building uh, trustworthy blockchain ecosystems. Yeah, from the title you can see, although the, both the previous talk and this talk are talking about security issues in blockchain, but the previous one is more about attack side, right? This one is more about the defense side. Uh, lots of my friends uh, keep asking me questions like why Bitcoin has a price and why NEO has a price and why blockchain is so popular. You know, I think uh, most, many of you guys may also receive such questions previously. And uh, I believe the answer to this question rules in a single word that is trust. So blockchain ecosystems are built based on trust. And some people call this trust a consensus, and some people call this trust a belief. But the code to implement such blockchain systems are not trustworthy due to program bugs. So we have seen many bugs in the blockchain systems, and Dr. Peng also showing some of them. And we have seen many hacker attacks uh, utilizing those bugs in the past few years. Right. Actually, more than hundreds of millions of dollars worth cryptocurrencies have been stolen due to those program bugs. So how can we avoid such kind of program bugs? Is there a, a solution to that? So can we rely on the testing and uh, white hat uh, techniques that just been uh, introduced by Dr. Peng and also Peter uh, uh, this afternoon? So I'm sorry, Dr. Peng and Peter, the answer is probably not. So as Dijerchua said that program testing can be used to show the presence of bugs, but never to show their absence. Yeah, so it means that, well, this testing, these white hat techniques are useful, are needed, but they can't complete the task. So what else can we do? So now some people, including me, will stand out and claim that the formal verification is the cure. And uh, the U US National Science Foundation report, so claimed by the NSF report in 2016 that formal methods are the only reliable way to achieve security and privacy in computer systems. So you should notice that, well, the NSF report used this term only. So by formal verification, we mean to use mathematical ways to prove that the code indeed satisfies the specification. So you have seen this word specification, right, in Peter's talk, uh, in Longface's talk, right? So it's about uh, the, the, he, he, he can like name the developer guide of Neo as a specification, but that one is informal and ambiguous. So the specification I refer to here is a formal and uh, uh, rig rigorous uh, specification, which reflects the design of the uh, developers. And it sounds really cool, right? So actually, formal verification has been a decades-long concept. But why there are still that many bugs? And why we can't simply use this technique to save the world? The reason is, in most cases, these proofs are really very difficult to conduct. So in 2015, Professor Zhong Shao, who is the computer science department chair of uh, Yale University and I, we together observed that the bottleneck of this technique is not about the proof technique. Instead, the bottleneck is how to write the specification. And we introduced a concept called deep spec in 2015 when deep learning is still very popular. And uh, yeah, sim uh, simply speaking, this concept basically is a way to write compositional specification such that we can decompose a very complex proof obligations into many smaller and easier to solve ones. And the magic part is that then you can compose all the proofs back and deliver an end-to-end -end guarantee. So this concept 
was then uh, widely uh, studied and advocated by a broader community, including researchers from Yale, Columbia, Princeton, MIT, and UPenn. And the three workshops and the two summer schools have already been held. And in 2016, we used this technique to build a third OS, the first fully verified concurrent OS kernel in the world. And it has already been deployed in the safety critical area here in US. And in 2017, we started to apply these techniques in the blockchain domain. And I, I don't have time to go deep into the technical details of deep spec, but I will use this example to show the high level ideas of how to use deep spec to protect smart contracts. So let's see, we have very complex, uh, complicated smart contracts, like the, like the stable token contracts of our, one of our client, True USD. So we have this contract, and then we will write specifications as labels or notations to the source code of the, of the smart contracts. And those, some of those uh, specifications can also be generated automatically. And then we will decompose the proof obligations into many smaller ones at different abstraction levels, and then do the proofs locally and compose all the proofs together to, to uh, deliver a certificate showing that the smart contracts are correct respect to the specifications. So here is one demo of how Certic detects the building chain bugs in their smart contracts. So you can see that the comments are the, are the labels served at the, as the partial specifications to this piece of smart contracts. And uh, with the verification fails and we detect bugs which is the difference between the code and the specification. And okay, it can also can help us uh, show the, the, uh, find the counterexample of the, of, uh, of the program. And uh, once you fix uh, the bug and uh, pass the verification, the important thing here is that you have the guarantee that the program indeed satisfies the specification without any exceptions. So that's the difference with the testing and the white hat techniques. So as I just mentioned, that some of the specifications can be generated uh, semi-automatically. So we also develop this auto-scan platform that can, that can scan the security issues in the uh, most popular and uh, running smart contracts on the blockchain systems. And we run, we do once, as, each one scanning takes a, a count like a several hours, and we already can detect many bugs, security bugs, in the uh, popular and, uh, uh, and the very famous uh, contracts that is running right now. And this platform uh, just being uh, released uh, uh, several months ago. And uh, also, we, we started the collaboration with Neil uh, from last year, from May last year. So we will help Neil to build this formal verification platform, uh, uh, that which is customized for the Neo ecosystems. And uh, this uh, project has already been initialized, and hopefully we can have some demo and uh, products released the, the, this year. And uh, our services and techniques has already been ad adopted by many big players in the blockchain domain. Uh, including the, the big uh, digital asset exchanges like Binance, Hobi, OK, and many other big exchanges. So now, if you want to list your token on these large exchanges or launch pads, you have to get some certificate of your code from the collaborated security service providers. And we are the only security, provi uh, security prov uh, service providers for, let's say, Binance, Hobi, and OK. So I highly suggest that please do the verification service or auditing service with us, with Certic, before you're trying to get listed on these exchanges. It can help you save time and save money. And you can simply send emails to bd at certic.org. And we also collaborated with many uh, big platforms uh, in the blockchain world, like uh, Neo, like Ontology, we also works with uh, Etherscan, Icon, Waves, uh, Quarkchain, uh, Qtown, and many of them. I even can't list all of them in a single slide. And we also, we also have already provided services for many clients, uh, including TrueUSD, 
uh, Crypto.com, uh, Quarkchain, Saladot Network, and IOTEX, and many of them are very good projects, and, uh, uh, and we will help uh, secure the, the smart contracts of these projects. I'm sorry, yeah. So here is a, sum a summary of our current uh, business. Uh, we have done, uh, we just launched our verification services for about half a year. So we have already done more than 160 audits and we have already helped secure more than $1.2 billion worth cryptocurrencies, which is very amazing. And we have verified more than 80,000 lines of smart contract code. And we also help verify and audit some more complicated system code. And uh, now I will talk about a new research pro project called Deep Sea Blockchain. And uh, so in the, in the previous talk and the first half of this talk, we talk about how to detect bugs in the existing code and how to prove the correctness of existing code, right? But now the question is, can we build trustworthy code? Can we build trustworthy smart contracts from the very beginning? So to, to answer this question, we start this research project called Deep Sea Blockchain. And we plan to introduce a new Deep Sea high level and functional program language using which the developers, it's very difficult for developers to make mistakes. And then we will also provide a certified compiler from this high-level deep sea, high-level languages to many platforms, including uh, Hyperledger, EVM, and also NeoVM. And we will guarantee that the compilation phase will not introduce any new bugs. Uh, it means that if you can do the proofs at the source code level, the guarantee can be propagated down all the way to the byte code level, right? You don't need to worry about the, the, uh, the, the bugs in the compiler, which is a black box and very complicated. And meanwhile, we can also generate the formal specifications from the deep sea source code into the Coq proof assistant. And then you can do proofs in Coq manually or use our library to do the proofs semi-automatically. So it is a, a framework to help you build cross-platform trustworthy smart contracts. And uh, this Deep Sea Blockchain project is a joint work of CERDIC of Yale University and Columbia University. And we have already received grant support from IBM uh, through the Columbia IBM Blockchain Research Center. And this news has been uh, released uh, several weeks ago. And we also get ground uh, support from Ethereum Foundation, which is new, whose news will be released uh, very soon, I believe, in the next few weeks. And we also get lots of support from other platforms and communities, including the QTOM uh, Foundation, uh, and so on. And uh, we hope that we can also get uh, the grant support from the new foundation, and also get the development support from the new community. Uh, we believe that this will help, this can help us really build this, uh, really introduce this uh, framework to build cross-platform trustworthy smart contracts uh, in the blockchain uh, community. And uh, that's it. Thank you.